right? So let's run through some of the laws quickly. So the first one, if I give you the square root of AB, that can be split up into the square root of A by the square root of B. All right? Next thing, if I give you the square root of A and you multiply that by the square root of A, what you'll get? A, right? Root A by root A is A. Nice. Suppose I gave you root A and I said add root A to root A. What you'll get? Right, so you could treat you could treat root a like x. So root a plus root a is two root a. Are you okay with that? Number four. Suppose you take a now and you divide a by root a. What you'll get? What a divided by root a? A to the power of a half. Yeah, so that can kind of work, or you can, or you can write it like this: root a by root a all over root a. A will cancel, and you'll get root a. Okay, so a over root a is root a. Yeah. No. And I say now one. All right. So let's let's say I gave you three, three on root three. Right. Three could be written using this rule here. Three could be written root three multiplied by root three. Correct? And if you divide it by root three, and you'll get root three, right? That's the rule there, right? And the rule number five, what do you do with things like this? Root A plus root B. Divided by root C minus root D. What do you what do you do with things like that? How do you simplify things like that? Huh? Rationalize good. How? Multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, right? Huh? Yeah. Rational. Yeah, like a person. Right, so that'll be root C. So the conjugate of the conjugate of root C minus root D is root C plus root D. Just change the sign in the middle. All right. So just for you to remember, right? Multiply by the conjugates of the denominator. <laughs> and last one kind of goes with number five. If you have root C minus root D and you multiply it by the conjugate, root C plus root D. What's the answer all the time? What's root C minus root D by root C plus root D all the time? What you'll get? You'll get root C squared minus root D squared, right? Which is, yes, difference of two squares which is C minus C, okay? So you will hardly ever see a third question, but what you will see the question saying, simplify the following and it's third, all right? So you would work out something, then you will see you have that third part and you just work it out. So let's practice a few of these and then do some indices and wrap up this long indices section, right? Right, the next topic that you'll pick was differential and integration. Huh? Go ahead, do that first. Let's try a few of these, right?
So these are the laws that we use when we simplify in service.